Hey Taurus, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for the immediate future. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. We're going to go ahead and begin here for you, Taurus, and see what we get. Uh, Taurus, I do have personals going on right now, so details are down below for anyone who is interested. All right, so Ca or Capricorn, that was weird. Okay, Taurus, um, this is going to be on a Thursday. Let's see what this is. It could be the Thursday that you're watching this. It could be this coming Thursday. And timing is kind of loose with the tarot for those of you who don't know, but we're going to see what we got here on Thursday. Three of Swords. Okay. So something's not been made clear to you is what I'm getting here. It could be in any relationship uh, in your life, but there's definitely a relationship obstacle here, relationship problem. There's something that you're feeling on an intuitive level is not right, but you don't have any proof of it um, other than what you're feeling. Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, literally can't make that up. I mean, the Eight of Swords can be kind of trapped in your own head. Seven of Cups can sometimes say that there's an illusion here, but I honestly feel like that could be what somebody's trying to make you feel is going on. Um, you know, I hate to use the, the overused phrase gaslighting, but that's how it feels. Seven of Swords, trickery, theft, deception. Is this an air sign? Is this an air sign? You have so much air energy here. It might be a Gemini coming towards you in this energy on Thursday. Like somebody is trying to make you feel like, no, that's not what it is. Like, you know, there's something like that going on here. Some of you, there could be uh, a third party here. I'm not going to lie to you because, you know, the seven of cups can be options, right? Um, you have the three of swords, which can be a third, like literally third party. Um, seven of swords showing up as well, which is trickery, theft, deception. Like I said, this can represent lies, deceit. It's a very dreaded card in the tarot. So is the three of swords. It typically represents heartbreak. Um... But it's Saturn and Libra. You know, it's that card of relationship obstacles. So a small portion of you, this could be Saturday. All right. But it's uh, the, the main card was a Thursday card. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're saying something here for sure. If you can look, look at this. I feel like something is about to go down here. All right. Because Queen of Swords... All right, and then the Nine of Wands. Look at how they're looking at one another. You know, I feel like there's something, the swords can represent communication. There's something communicated to you or you spot some type of communication like you see it with your own eyes. This is someone who's suspicious of their surroundings. You're suspicious of what you have brought into your life, um, you know, and made yourself comfortable with. Rather, who? You know, that's how this is feeling to me. It could be a Scorpio or an Aries, but the tower is showing up. I feel like something serious is about to go down here, all right? Um, it may be with an older male or you could be the older male here in this situation. But I feel like you're seeing something that's making you uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, the Nine of Cups is showing up here as well. The Nine of Cups can be a card of indulgence, pleasure, satisfaction. You know, so you guys do the math there. Um, because I have to keep everything so PG for YouTube now. It's just You just never know what they're going to do, right? And for those of you where I said it could be this Thursday or it could be next Thursday, I'm feeling more like it's going to be this Thursday because we have um, the world. So this could be 21 hours. All right. So that's what I'm seeing here, Taurus. It looks like you're going to spot something for some of you here um, in 21 hours. All right. That's what I'm that's what I'm going to say here. Um, and it looks like it could have to do with an air sign. Obviously, this is going to be very specific. That's just how these types of readings are. Um, but that's what I'm getting. Something to do with a Pisces for some of you. That's what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Uh, there are details down below. For anyone who's interested in joining me on Patreon or Instagram, uh, everything's down there. But if this is where we part, thanks for watching this far. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.